Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive helpful tips on how to relieve pain. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. Hello everyone, welcome. This is Dr. Jacobs. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to diagnose carpal tunnel syndrome. Before I do that, we need to understand what is carpal tunnel and the symptoms you might experience when you have carpal tunnel syndrome. So the carpal tunnel is actually protecting your median nerve. And median nerve, that is actually the one you will have symptoms with. That's the carpal tunnel syndrome. As you see here, this is a tunnel. So your hand is like this. And this is a view from this side for this area of your hand. And we have the carpal tunnel here. The median nerve is a yellow color here in this image. And that's the carpal tunnel. And we have here the flexor retinaculum. This is a fascia layers. And actually the carpal tunnel here, that's what protected the median nerve. And also you have the flexor tendons that actually going through the tunnel on those like white kindish, uh, white yeah, bluish color here in this area. So the roof of the tunnel is a very strong band. It's called retinaculum. It's a connective tissue, uh, transverse uh, carpal ligaments. It's right here. And any pressure that caused on this area, it push on the median nerve and you start to have the carpal tunnel syndrome or symptoms. So we don't want any pressure in this area. This is very small, delicate area that any pressure from the flexor retinaculum or any inflammation or any fibrotic tissue going to compress on the median nerve and cause the carpal tunnel syndrome. So the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome is burning, tingling, pain, and sometimes weaknesses with the hand grab, and usually happen with the distribution of the median nerve in your uh, thumb and those three fingers in the front of your hand. So in the front of, of your hand, you will feel it on those areas, the numbness and the tingling. And actually, actually in the back of your hand, the same fingers, but the distribution covering less areas of the back of your hand. So this is a distribution of the median nerve. When you have compression on the median nerve, you will experience those numbness and tingling in the hand. The other common symptoms is dropping objects, weaknesses, and that's usually happen with severe inflammation in the carpal tunnel or severe fibrotic tissue, something compression on the nerve and make that uh, nerve pain. This is your hand. This is a palmar part of your hand. And the median nerve is actually going through this area uh, underneath the transverse uh, ligament here through here and distributing the nerve uh, sensation and feeling and uh, in this area so when you have compression or pressure on this area you start to have that symptoms of the carpal tunnel syndrome here is a good image for the transverse uh, carpal ligaments you see it here it's covered the uh, uh, the carpal tunnel and you will see here uh, the yellow line that's the median nerve and as you see the distribution for the median nerve is going to those three fingers and half of that fourth finger so when you have when you have compression in the carpal tunnel that cause the symptoms of the median nerve which cause the carpal tunnel syndrome so how we diagnose it in a clinical setting so we have a couple of tests we can do and actually you might be able to do it at home but you will need someone else to do it on you so i'm gonna show it to you in the anatomy uh, model here so one of the tests that I use in the clinic to see if you if, if the person has carpal tunnel syndrome is called the compression test, which basically I will passively go with my hands compressing on the carpal tunnel with both hands and squeezing it. When that when I squeeze it and the patient experience those symptoms of the numbness and tingling and sharp shooting pain in the hand in the distribution of the median nerve that is a positive sign that they have carpal tunnel syndrome so this is a compression test it's basically um, i use both my hands and really squeeze the carpal tunnel area 
to uh, cause those symptoms and that's a positive test if a patient experienced the sharp uh, shooting pain, burning pain, or ding, uh, tingling. The other test is called tunnel uh, test or the tabbing test. And usually with that test, I go, this is a palm part of the hand. And what I do is tabbing on this area right on the top of the median nerve in here in this area. And when they experience sharp shooting pain, numbness, tingling, burning pain with the tabbing that is a positive sign for possibly have carpal tunnel syndrome so i will leave a link underneath this video for the seven surprising causes and risk factors for carpal tunnel it's very important to understand those causes because that will help you to get to the root cause of carpal tunnel syndrome i'm also going to leave a link for the three most effective natural approach that fix carpal tunnel syndrome that can be done at home if you have any question or comment, leave it in the comment section. I will answer it in a future video. See you soon. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive helpful tips on how to relieve pain. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below or go to asterinstitute.com.